What a year! 2019 was great! A lot of adventures, a lot of travels, a lot of movies, and this was my favorite companion, the Revit Expedition Boot. Why you have to know about this boot? It's very protective and still it's very comfortable. This is the magic trick. And there were some moments in this trip when I needed protection. Let's watch them. These boots are very tough. I mean, you have this very tough sole, you have this part, you have also on your heel a very tough part. Nothing to complain about. They're, I think they're as good as the motocross boots. You have also this part. Nothing to wish more when talking about protection. And when talking about comfort, there is this dynamic support frame. That's how they call it. Can you see that? It allows you to walk easily and to wear this boot throughout the day without having to worry about it. And trust me, it's really comfortable. I mean, I had it in the Pamir ride when I went to Central Asia. It was like three weeks of riding every day from the morning till the end of the day. I also had it in, uh, in the Balkan ride with the KTM 790. And yeah, that's nothing to complain about this boot when it comes to comfort. What's also special about this boot is the BOA mechanism, so you don't have a locking mechanism as other motorcycle boots. You just stick your feet here, and after that, you're using this system to, to squeeze it, and it sits very tight over here. I found it a bit difficult at the beginning to, to put my leg into the boot and to take it out, but yeah, you can do it like two times a day in the morning and in the afternoon when you're taking the boot off. So, nah, nothing to worry about. Waterproof. Well, there's a problem with the waterproof boots and it usually happens to the left foot area because <laughs> this is the area where is the gear shifter and it wears a bit too quick and this is the part where the water comes in. Still, the guys at Revit used some very good materials and uh, I had no issues with the left boot, which is fantastic. They're looking a bit used, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, they're not new anymore because I used them for like I don't know, 70 days of riding or more, maybe 100 days of riding. And uh, I think that about 50,000 kilometers or something like that. I don't know, I, I didn't make the count, but I used them uh, in Central Asia, I used them in the Balkans, and I used them in all the reviews throughout the year. So, a lot of work for these boots, and they proved to be really tough, really resistant, and I think they're still looking good, <laughs> considering uh, for how much time I wear them. One more thing regarding the waterproof quality, uh, I had no water inside these boots throughout the year. So I was completely dry, excepting one day when I went into a stream and spent there like five minutes or 10 minutes or more, and the, wet, the water came in, I don't know from where, maybe from uh, the upper area, I'm not really sure, but the water came in. But still, when talking about waterproof boots, you need a boot that uh, will resist when it rains outside or, okay, when you're going through a stream, but not when staying for 10 minutes in the river. I also like the sole of the boot because it somehow looks like, uh, like a mountain boot sole because 
you need some grip when having to, to pull out the bike from, I don't know, from the mud or something like that. And uh, the guys at Revit did a very good job with this sole. Now let's talk about the price. In our market, they cost 550 euros. So they're a bit pricey. This is an expensive boot, but this is the normal price for a premium boot. Uh, these are premium boots and I think they're worth the money because they're waterproof, they're very protective, and also they're very comfortable. So good job of it. If I have to find a thing that's annoying me about this boot is that they're squeaking <laughs> after some months of use and they're like that. So, I think I gotta loop them. That's why those people are doing it on the road bike.